Hey guys, today we're gonna to be looking at this Dell X1052 uh, uh, 48 port switch. We're gonna go ahead and log into it and update the firmware on it. If you don't know what the default IP is, you can um, just do an IP scan and it should be DHCP. If not, it defaults to, I think, a 192.168.0.1 address. Um, but if you have DHCP on your LAN, then you should have no problem uh, doing an IP scan and trying to find it on the network. All right, we found ours on the network and the default login was admin admin. So we went ahead and logged into that network switch. Now make sure you change that default login as well since you're in this console. So once you are on here, you can see our firmware is 3.0.0.64. And then we have the little update button there. We're gonna go ahead and click on update. All right, once you click on that link, you're gonna get this edit update firmware configuration page. The defaults are gonna be pretty good, so just make sure you have everything default, and we're gonna go ahead and browse. And then we're gonna to browse to our downloads where we downloaded the firmware. Now, to get this firmware, you just go to Dell's website, uh, dell.com slash support, put in the service tag um, number of the switch. I just like doing that because it pulls up the exact model number and everything of that switch. Um, go to the latest firmware downloads, click on downloads, and then you're gonna get a zip file. You're gonna to wanna to unzip that folder and that's where that firmware is located. Now we went ahead and opened up the release notes and the software upgrade, uh, the GUI interface, and it's telling us any switch that's 1052X, use this firmware here. Anything that is like a 4012, use this firmware. So ours is the X1052. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that firmware. And then we're gonna scroll down to OK. And then um, it's gonna start the upload process in just a minute. And then it's gonna upload this file. And then once it's done, we're gonna, it's gonna say file transfer complete. And then we're gonna go ahead and reboot the switch. Now rebooting the switch is gonna take everything down, of course, for a good amount of time. So you wanna make sure um, you know, you're doing this after hours or when no one's on the network. Second thing is the reboot can take longer so a normal reboot for a switch is normally five to ten minutes depending on how many rules and how it's configured um, but in this instance it should take about 15 minutes because it's also doing an upgrade so you want to be patient let it reboot wait even 20 30 minutes for it to be fully done um, i just like giving the switch plenty of time um, to do the upgrade because you don't want to unplug it while it's in the middle of that firmware upgrade because it could brick the whole device so you like i said let's just be patient wait for this to upload um, and then once it uploads we're going to go ahead and reboot so let's go ahead and reboot the switch so we're going to hit our settings icon here reboot switch so now we're going to wait for the switch to reboot and then log back in and see if we have the updated firmware all right it took about uh, 16 minutes for my switch to reboot and update so let's go ahead so let's go ahead now and log back into the switch here the default is admin, admin. All right, our switch is fully rebooted and now you can see we are running the latest firmware which is 3.0.1.8. So your Dell uh, X50, uh, I'm sorry, X1052 switch is now up to date. Hope this was helpful you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.